Hey everyone, welcome back to another session of the series. Today we are going to have a look on one of the jestful topic out of ship stability, which is longitudinal stability and trim. Worldwide, there exist various modes of transport which enable mankind and his supplies to move from one place to another. It includes roadways, railways, airways, ropeways, pipelines, waterways, etc. Among all other modes of transportation, waterways has a great contribution in the global trade. Surface ships play a primary role in this. Well, these ships or boats do not remain stable in their upright condition throughout their life. There exist number of factors affecting their stability. Sometimes this instability can be because of the climatic conditions or sometimes it may even be because of the loading or discharging of masses. In our past lectures, we have studied about the effect of masses on transverse stability of the ship. In this session, we will see how is the longitudinal stability of the ship gets affected because of masses on board. Trim is defined as the permanent longitudinal inclination of the ship and pitching is simply the dynamic one. If there is a ship floating with equal drafts all along its length, it is said to be lying on even keel or we may say it has zero trim. On the other hand, if there is a difference in these drafts, the ship is having a trim. Longitudinal stability is primarily concerned about the ship's trim which is the difference between draft forward and aft. Well, before proceeding ahead deep into the concept, we will have a look on some basic relevant terms. Center of flotation is simply the centroid of load water plane and it's the axis about which a ship changes its trim. If a small mass is added to a ship at the center of flotation, the ship will only acquire a parallel sinkage down in the water with no change in trim. Uh, well, a large mass will have some different effect which we will see later. Addition of any mass in forward or aft of center of flotation will cause the ship to change its trim along with a parallel sinkage. The main draft of a ship is the draft at which the ship will lie in level keel conditions. Since your ship changes its trim about center of flotation, the draft at this point remains constant for any given displacement whether the ship is at level keel or trimmed. Hence, the mean draft may be taken as the draft at longitudinal center of flotation. As the ship changes its trim about center of flotation, you may observe the change in draft forward and aft. But quite obvious, there is no change in the draft at center of flotation. The moment we add any mass to a ship, we will assume that the mass is first placed on the center of flotation and then shifted to its final designated position. Such problems will be dealt in two steps. First, calculating the change in mean draft because of addition of the same on center of flotation. And second, the change in trim because of its shifting to its final designated position. Well, increase in draft can simply be determined by dividing mass with the TPC. Let's look at what happens when a mass is shifted longitudinally? Let us consider a ship of displacement delta having length L. It is lying, let's say, on waterline WL and it's having a mass M on the deck. Initially, since the ship is in equilibrium, center of gravity and center of buoyancy would be lying in the same vertical line. We will now be shifting this mass, let's say, towards aft by a distance D. And yes, correspondingly, the ship center of gravity will also move in the same direction. Shift in center of gravity, GG1, is well given by M into D, 
divided by delta. We are looking at a particular instant in detail. Let's say gravitational weight is acting downwards through new center of gravity. The buoyant force is still acting upwards through original center of buoyancy. These two parallel and opposite forces are creating a couple moment effect of which is to incline the ship longitudinally means they are just causing the ship to change its trim and hence this couple moment is referred as the trimming moment. This was the original waterline. Let us just rotate the complete diagram physically over here in order to bring it horizontal. If you observe the underwater shape of the ship in its trimmed condition while floating on waterline W1 L1, this is little more in the aft and less in the forward. That's why center of buoyancy will keep on shifting towards aft till when it does not reach well under new center of gravity. If we will be erecting some lines over here joining center of gravity and center of buoyancy, the original and the final ones, we will see that these lines are intersecting at a point which is going to be the longitudinal meta center. The vertical distance measured between original center of gravity of the ship and the meta center is referred as longitudinal metacentric height of the ship GM longitudinal. Well, this is enough for the day. We'll stop here and the rest of the concepts will be discussed in our upcoming sessions.